In this week's Nature, Mark Pagel and his colleagues analysed frequency of word use and patterns of evolution in Indo-European languages. Jeden, a dwa, dwa, trzy, jeden, cztery, cztery, pięć, pięć, The Tower of Babel is from uh, the biblical story of, uh, where uh, the citizens of Babel wanted to build this tower to the heavens. God got uh, upset about that and uh, smashed the tower and uh, scattered the people of Babel and uh, confused their languages. That's the biblical account for the um, linguistic diversity we see in the world today. Now our starting point is that languages evolve by descent with modification. So they form a genealogy or family tree of languages. Then we can array different lexical items on that tree and ask how rapidly they evolve. And what we found was words evolve at different rates. Um, in fact, there's about a 100-fold variation in rates of evolution. So some words are evolving much, much more quickly than others. And then we were interested in explaining why do they vary so much in their rates of evolution. And as evolutionary biologists, we drew on ideas from genetics. And in genetics, some genes evolve at a rapid rate, some genes evolve slowly. The ones that evolve rapidly sometimes are very highly expressed. So we had this idea that maybe the frequency with which words are used in the Indo-European languages might be related to their rates of evolution. We were able to quantify the rate at which different meanings evolved, and some of the slowest meanings were uh, numbers. We calculated what we call a half-life for the word, so that's the time after which there's a 50% chance that the word will have disappeared in a language. And it turns out that for um, numbers, uh, in particular two and five, I think, they have half-lives of about uh, 75,000 years.